What's up, people? My name is Kevin Castro, and this is my dog, Beckham, who will be portraying the role of Doug today. He may not be able to talk like Doug from the movie. Beckham, speak. Yeah, we'll work on it. <laughs> but they are both definitely good boys. Married Life is one of Disney's happiest yet saddest songs of all time. And it does that by using four notes. I know, it's crazy, right, Beckham? Just those four notes. Beckham is here to keep me on track while we learn Married Life from Disney's Up. Let's get into it. Okay, so first off, we're gonna learn the left hand. So left hand starts off in three, four. We're gonna do a waltz pattern. So what a waltz pattern is, is we're gonna take our F major chord here, F, A, C. And all we're gonna do is break it apart. So we're gonna go low note, and then A and C twice. So it sounds like this. And then we do a little walk up, C, D, E. And there's the first line, there's your little intro. So one more time. One, two, three, one, two, three. C, D, E. And that C, D, E is just a little walk up. And then we're gonna go right back to our F chord. So here's measure five. One, two, three, two, two, three. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but move to a G major chord. So G major is G, B, and D. So we just go G, B, and D together. Now we move to C major. Now keep the top notes the same, but now move to B flat. Now we do A minor and C over G. So that's a little bit of a tricky section. So let's try that one one more time. C, B flat, down to A, C and E, G, C and E. Now we go back to F. up to C major, and then hold it for three beats. Two, three. All right, so let's take this whole left hand pattern from the very beginning. Now over to G chord. Up to C major. B flat, A minor, C over G, back down to F. So here it's really important to keep your left hand kind of bouncy. You want it to keep upbeat, up, uplifting kind of feel. And make sure you're holding the pedal for each measure. So you're lifting it up and switching it back down for every single measure. Otherwise it kind of sounds muddy if you kind of switch between the chords. So you want to make sure you lift up the pedal and then keep going. So there's the left hand. Let's jump into the right hand now, the melody. So starting from measure four, it's got a couple pickup notes. Two, three, one, rest. One, two, three, one, two, three. So let's just go over what I just did there. Let's take it nice and slow. We're going F, A, F, E, two, three, one, rest. And we go back to F, A, D, F, D, C. Then I'm gonna put finger one on D here. D, A, G. D, A, G, F, D. Then same idea. F, G, F, E, two, three, one. Rest, E, G, E, C. Rest, C, E, C. Cross over to B flat with finger two, then A, B flat, C, D, E, C, D, E. And then we're gonna repeat that pattern again. F, A, F, and when you see those two dots right there at the very end, that means it's a repeat sign. So you're gonna repeat back up to measure five where you see the forward repeat bar. So let's take it one more time. One, three, one, Rest, F, A, E, D, D, F, D, cross over finger two, D, A, G, D, A, G, F, D, and hold it, three, one, rest, F, G, F, E, two, three, 
one, rest, C, cross over to B flat, so that finger one lands on the A. C, D, E, F, A, F. All right, so let's take this from the very top, hands together, but we're gonna do it nice and slow. Okay, so we start with our F major chord again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Then we jump down to C and go one, two, and three, and. So it's gonna come on the and of two. One, two, and three, and. And then we come together on E and F. Two, three, one, two, and three, and. So you kind of see that pattern, that and, three, and. So one more time from that little pickup into measure five. One, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one. So it's that same rhythm. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, one. Hold it. And three, and one. And three, and one, two, and three, and B flat there. A, B flat, one, and two, and three. So one more time, that was one, two, and three. C major, C, D, and then all together. And three, and. So there is the first bit of the song. The thing is, you're gonna to wanna to play this part a little bit more upbeat because right now that was a little slower, but this is the cheerful part of the song. So when you actually play it full speed, it should sound something like this. Okay, great work so far. So that is the main theme of the song, but I do need to let you know something. As a piano member, you do have access to our incredible practice feature, which will give you full access to the sheet music that you can play along with, and you can actually speed up, slow down, and play along with the practice feature, which is so, so cool. But if you aren't already a member, we do have a free seven day trial just for you. Just click the link below. Okay, so we're gonna start from measure 21 now. So now we're assuming that you've done the whole first page, you did the repeat sign, and you repeat it again from measure five, and now we are at measure 21. So, this time let's start with the right hand, because the right hand gets pretty high on the piano. So we're gonna start with those pickup notes again from measure 20, which go F, A, F, one, two, three, one, rest, F, A, E, D. Then up here, we're gonna move finger one to F, and we're gonna do kind of like a D minor chord, F, A, D, and E. So you're gonna stretch all the way up to E with your finger five. So one more time, F, A, D, E. Then here's a little tricky switch. You're gonna put finger three on your D note so that finger five can move up to F. And now it goes F, E, D, A, B natural here. So that's the natural sign. Up to D and F for three beats. One, two, three, D. Beautiful, so now we get to a part that says eight VA. So that's an F note right there, but now we're gonna play eight notes higher. So we're gonna play it up an octave, and that's what that means. When you see it above the staff, that means it's gonna be up one octave. So it's gonna sound like this now. F, G, F, E, two, three, one, and same melody. And three, and, and here we get to a one, and two, and three, and all the way up to B flat. So. What you're doing here, finger one on B flat. One, two, three, and you're gonna thumb tuck your finger one onto F. And then you're gonna go all the way up to B flat like that. So all together, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's a tricky part in the song. And the timing for that, one more time, is one and two and three and one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, let's take it with our, from our left hand, just to get up to that point now. So, measure 21, starting on F major. Same thing we already did. So going one, two, three, one, two, three. 
up to G major again, same thing. You already know this stuff. Now left hand stays in the position, even though it says 8VA, you're still gonna play C chord where it's written and hold it for three beats. So C chord there, then we move to C over B flat. Then we move to A minor, one, two, three, and then C over G for three beats. Okay, so let's put this hands together because this part gets a little tricky. Nice and slow. Up to E, switch to finger three, finger five there, and all quarter notes. A, B natural, up to F, D, now we're going up to F here on the and, and three, and one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. Here it is, one, two, three, one, two, three, and we go all the way up to B flat at the same time as our C chord. Okay, so 8VA ends at measure 35. So instead of playing from this B flat, this is where you just were. One, two, three, one, two, three. You're gonna jump down to finger three on B flat here. So it sounds like this. B flat, A, G, D, A, G, A, two, three, F, two, three, A, G, F, A, now F sharp, D. Now this part is very fancy. So you're gonna hit B natural with finger two, and you're gonna start really soft and go up to this C sharp up here because it's up one octave again. Same thing, eight V, A. So you're gonna go like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and... and so, this is all the chromatic scale. So let me show you how to play that. One, two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and... So that's the timing, but now the fingering for this part, so you get it? It's gonna go like this. B. You're gonna start with finger three. Three, one, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, three. And if you already know the chromatic scale, just do that same fingering. You go all the way up to B flat and then back down. B flat, A, G sharp, G, F sharp. Then finger two there. Three, one, three, two, and all the way down to B natural. So all together, the right hand sounds like this. One. And if you want, you can even add a little bit of dynamics. So start kind of soft until you get out to the B flat and then you bring it right back down again. It's kind of like this. One, two, soft, getting a little louder, louder, louder. And then bring it back down. Just for an extra, you know, nice touch. Okay, the last line here in the second page, measure 45, sounds like this. E, G, D, E, B flat, B natural, C, and then we have that little fermata. That's what that kind of symbol is called, which means you're gonna hold that note for longer than usual. Okay, so there's the right hand up to measure 47 once you have that fermata. So let's learn the left hand now. Okay, so we're gonna take this from measure 21 now with our left hand. So starting with our F major chord again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three, one, two. Now up to G major. So this is all stuff you've done already. And now even though it says C chord 8BA, that's just for the right hand. So you keep your left hand the same. One, two, three, one, C over B flat, A minor, and you're gonna hold these for three beats. C over G, and now you're gonna get to our C major chord. Back to the waltz, uh, that waltz pattern. Back down to F chord. Now we have a new chord here, D minor. So we're gonna go up to D, F and A. And now we just make a D major. So we just go D, F sharp and A twice. And now this is a tricky part. You're gonna go from G and then hit F and B natural. And you're gonna hold it for all of those measures, all those ties. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. The last line measure 45 sounds like this, E and C. 
one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we just add a G sharp. And it kind of adds this question mark. And right before that, you see it says writ. That means you're gonna slow it down. Okay, so let's take this hands together now for measure 21. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start from the pickup going into 21. And three and one. Nice and slow. And three and one. Here's that D minor. Up to E. Switch to finger three. Five, four, three. Finger one on A. B natural. Up to F. D, now here's that A, V, A, so go up an octave up here. One, two, three. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three. Here's finger one. Up to C chord. Now down an octave. D minor. Now D major. Now here's this part. So this part is probably one of the hardest parts in the song. You're gonna hit G and B together. And then when you hit F and B, you're gonna go up to C sharp and make sure finger three's ready. Now down to E, D, E, B flat, B, C, and you're gonna hold that because that's where our fermata is. So up to this point, that chromatic scale might give you a little bit of trouble. So just stick with that part till you get it really fluid with your right hand then get your left hand because it does have a little bit of a jump and then put it hands together and then move on once you're ready. All right, so now that we've got this hands together up to there, that's the happy, the happiest part of the song. So make sure you're playing it nice and cheerful at a nice tempo because right when you get out of this, the left hand starts to change a little bit. So you're gonna see the mood changes ever so slightly. It's still happy, it's still hopeful, promising, uh, but now the left hand, instead of doing that waltz pattern, one, two, three, you're just gonna hold it and go one, two, three, one, two, three. Same chords, just slightly different pattern. And the right hand is actually going to stay the same for most of it until the very end. So let's take it really slowly, hands together, because you already know the right hand. Starting from measure 48. One, two, and three, and one, two, three. So same melody, but that left hand. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, to F, G, F, C, E, and G, B flat, A minor. There's that B flat over, and then E and C. So that's slightly different. Then we get to our F major chord here, and our right hand is gonna do octaves. And it says writ, so you're gonna slow it down while you do this part. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, one, and two, and three. So that D is nice and fast. One more time. And here you can really slow it down. And here we actually have a bit of a tempo change now. So the melody stays the same, but now the left hand is really slowing down. It's kind of like how we slow down as we get a little older. So take a listen to what this sounds like now. Hold F chord for three beats. One, two, three, one, two. This part changes E flat and C in the left hand. B natural. G major left hand. But you see that right hand melody stays the same. It's just the left hand that's changing. And three and C major chord. Then C and B flat, or G, B flat. A minor. B flat, and then G and E, and this kind of makes like a C over G. F major, A, B flat, C, D, E. C, D, E. And now we get to the really sad part of the song. So the clef actually changes if you look here. There's two treble clefs, which means that both hands are gonna be a little higher on the piano. So what I, what I would recommend is for you to scooch your entire bench or just slide your booty over just a little bit to the edge. And now you're gonna hit A and F like this with your left hand. And see it says pianissimo. So really as soft as you can while still hitting the notes. And this is like the heartbreaking part in the movie that really just kind of pulls at your heartstrings, right? And just going between those two notes at the beginning. So let's just do the left hand first. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. That's how it starts off. And then our right hand comes in with that eight VA. And nice and soft. F, A, E, D. Here we have a new chord, E flat, A, and C left hand. Now G major. Now bring that G note down to F. Two, three, one, two. Now D, E, and G. Now just C note. B flat, E, and C. B flat, C, E. And three. Then back to that G and E over, over B flat here. And now we're on the last page. Last page sounds like this. F major, A, B flat, C, D, E. Now up to C major, C, D, E. And it kind of ends like this. F, A, F, and a high C with an F chord down here. And then F and C with A. So one thing you'll notice up to there is that the right hand pretty much stays the same the entire song. There's that one chromatic scale part where it changes ever so slightly, but the melody, the theme is the same throughout, but it's the left hand and the patterns that you're playing that are really affecting the emotion in the song. That as well as the, dy the dynamics. So when it's a little bit happier, you can be a little bit louder uh, and it's, you know, upbeat tempo, but then when you get to the really sad part, you notice the left hand is pianissimo, while the right hand is just piano. So they're both really soft. So you still want the melody to shine a little bit more than your left hand, but keep in mind that you're trying to make this song as sad as possible at the end, because this is a scene that pretty much makes every human cry. <laughs> I laughed at that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this from the very top, and I want you to try and play this along with me, okay? So we're gonna go from the very top. Remember, the first little bit is upbeat, cheerful, and as we progress through the song, it kind of gets more and more sad. So see if you can keep up with me. Let's play this together. Here we go. So we're gonna start off with the tempo going like one, two, three, one, two, three. Here we go. A one, two, three, ready, go.
All right, well, there you have it. There is Married Life from Disney's Up. Beckham, how'd they do? Yeah, they did a good job, hey? Yeah, I think so too. All right, make sure you comment below. What's your favorite part of the song? Is it the sad part? Is it the happy part? Let, let us know in the comments. Yeah, you tell them, Beckham. Till next time. <laughs>